when we talk about climate risk, some people still just think, oh, it's the probability of a heat wave. But we need right. to think about risk, not as the probability of the heat wave, but as the probability of harm. In addition to sort of population growth um, and uh, other factors, poverty is massively important in explaining right. vulnerability. And we see a lot of parts of the world, even though we've brought you know, millions of people out of poverty, um, that there are parts of the world where aspects of poverty make people very vulnerable. So if you're a poor person, yeah, exactly, great great example but you know the work we've done in uh, Mexico and in other regions shows that if you're poor and they privatize your water it makes you more vulnerable if you're an indigenous community and somebody steals your land you're vulnerable there are so many ways in which addressing basic social welfare can reduce vulnerability, whether it's in New Orleans or Mexico City. So, uh, and we're seeing that right now with the heat wave here. It's the poor who can't afford to pay for air conditioning, who can't afford to um, insulate their homes and who are living on the streets or working in outdoors occupations in 115 degrees Fahrenheit. 